We're probably not going to see AMD's next-gen gaming cards this year. Monster Hunter World system requirements for PC, GPU makers aren't doing good, Microsoft released a new Surface tablet, and is this next-gen Threadripper's release date? Stay tuned. <laughs> Welcome back to GamerMeld. We still don't know for sure whether AMD plans to utilize Vega for their next generation 7 nanometer Radeon GPUs or simply skip it and move straight to Navi. With that said, we do have a better idea of when the company plans to release their next generation cards, or should I say when they won't. Today's first story brings us to the X fastest event into Pi, where ASRock, the newest GPU maker, officially released an updated roadmap for the company's future GPUs. They showed off a couple other things at the event, like bulk mining cards, which I didn't know was still a thing. I, I kid, I kid. As you can see from the roadmap, though, there's no sign of a new Vega or Navi graphics card, at least until February of 2019. Now, before everyone jumps on me, I know this doesn't 100% guarantee it, but it's pointless to release a roadmap like this just to intentionally leave something off. That or they don't plan on remaining in the graphics card business, which is unlikely, especially considering the company is releasing new GPUs, just not any based on a new architecture. Next up, the acclaimed hunting simulator with monsters, Monster Hunter World is coming to PC next month, and the system requirements are out. They're not too bad either, and target 1080p at 30fps. If you want to see if your system is up to snuff, check that out in the description. Now, while GPU prices are lowering and great games are hitting PC, it's not all sunshine and roses. Gigabyte just released their June revenue report, and it's not looking good for the company. In the report, we see that their revenue is down by 30%, and when you account for the estimated sales of more non-volatile markets they're in, we're looking at roughly a 50% or more drop in GPU sales. That's a big deal, and certainly nothing to make light of. And while companies have been doing quite well the past year or two, remember that they definitely want to maintain their market growth, which is why I don't buy the argument that Nvidia doesn't need to release new graphics cards this year. They do, or their stock is going to go down quite a bit. Next, the long-awaited and hoped-for inexpensive Surface tablet was just announced. That's right, Microsoft is finally offering a more budget-friendly tablet-slash-notebook-ish hybrid thing. You know what I'm talking about. It's called the Surface Go, and it's a 10-inch tablet that weighs 1.15 pounds and is just 8.3 millimeters thick. The base model is priced at $399 US. The Surface Go is available for pre-order today, with a release on August 2nd. Lastly for today is a quick story from WCCF Tech, where they're confirming the launch date of AMD's 2000 series Ryzen Threadripper. They're claiming that both the 32 and 24 core CPUs will be available on August 13th. And while I understandably know many have reservations when it comes to WCCF tech, they are claiming confirmation instead of a rumor or leak or anything like that. So here's to hoping. So while that does it for today, what did you think of the news? Excited to snag a new Surface Go or do you just want the RX 600 series? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you liked the video, make sure to subscribe to keep up with all things hardware. And as always, have a great day.